Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's look at your energy for Sagittarius today. We have a lot of passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. <laughs> How about your person? What are they feeling right now? What's their energy? Oh, they're learning to forgive. Wow. Forgive and learning. All right. As you release and heal the past, your experience more love in the present moments. And what about you? Healing family issues. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so maybe there was issues with your parents that are resolving now oh <laughs> express your love is what your person wants to do here go ahead and make the romantic gesture and wow this is your soulmate beautiful so you have a soulmate coming in which is that easy best friend soul family kind of love that deep and safe and comfy <laughs> oh wow okay so we have oh boy so you may have been in a karmic relationship in the past you will be receiving what you need here with the boat and keys on a ring maybe somebody just wanted one night stand with you or unconventional love stringing you along Maybe they had many options and you were in this karmic cycle with this person and now you are choosing self, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care and being happier by doing this. So you may have left somebody behind here and now you're working on your family issues, you have a lot of passion and you may have met your soulmate here. Let's see what your person has for their intentions. So, <laughs> let's see. So your intention was to heal things, heal your love. This is all about picking you. You've chosen self here. Instead of being in this karmic relationship here that keeps going around. Now... You may have been engaged with this person. You may be marrying this person. Oh, I see what's going on. You've chosen self and this may have ended, somebody may have ended something here for the soulmate to come in. This person is welcoming, um, welcoming love, meeting the one, they're opening their heart and getting together perfect. They may be mirroring you, that reflecting on your wounds, your introspect. They might be healing right now. You might be healing right now. And they have engagement ring already here. <laughs> they may be looking to get married. They may be at that age they're looking to settle down. Or maybe they're a little older and been divorced already. Maybe they're looking for a second marriage, third, fourth, fifth, whatever. <laughs> Ah, there's a new phase, a rekindle, renew, or a transformation where there was growth here. You may change your mind about somebody, or you did change your mind about this karmic relationship and chose yourself. So take it however it's resonating for you, Sagittarius. Woo, that went, that's too many, Spirit. Can I get... Uh, just one or two messages here. This is your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? Oh. Be authentic. Be real and true to why you are and how you feel. So don't try to change who you are for anybody. You should be being your authentic self. There's no need to wear a mask. You were born to be a certain way for a reason. We're all here to do something different and learn. We're all here to learn life lessons. And if we we're all the same, if all of us were sheep and looked the same and acted the same, it would be pretty boring. 
So trying to fit in all the time with people that don't want you to fit is kind of a, a way of saying, just be yourself. You'll be liked for who you are with the right people that you're meant to be around. So you'll find your tribe. That's kind of what I'm getting here. To be authentic, don't wear that mask. There's no need. No need. Be your authentic self. Let's see. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Maybe you help somebody or you smile at somebody and that makes their day. You know, it, it doesn't have to be anything big. It can be quite small and you can still make an impact on people. Let's see here. What else? do something for someone give your attention to another i have two decks so we have 11 11 here and then we have 12 so 12 11 11 <laughs> wow okay and 12 breaks down to three here and 11 is a master number it doesn't break down so wow so it's a second time that it's saying do something for someone do something for someone so maybe your angels ancestors and spirit guides are trying to get you to follow your intuition. They may be giving you signs. And it's up to you to watch for the signs. And they can communicate even through numbers. So if you keep seeing repeating numbers all the time, um, it could be 444. It could be whatever. Maybe you see 747 all the time. It could be whatever. Whatever the number is, you just happen to look at the clock and each time you look at the clock, it's like the same numbers that keep coming up. So maybe it's one, two, three, three, two, one, <laughs> you know, one, two, one, two, like, you know what I'm saying? All those numbers mean something. You plug those into those angel numbers, you get a message and sometimes you can ask questions and have numbered cards where you can actually get an answer for your questions so let's see what for your person the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love so perhaps this person was focusing on the wrong things right now so this is what their intuition is telling them is to focus more on love looking for love maybe Maybe looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> There's a song with that. Uh, I think it's looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for love. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who sings that either. Let's see. Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. That's so true. Don't live in the past. Live in the now. That's number 11. That's Ascended Masters. Let's get one more for your person. Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love so it's not all about what you need necessarily it's about giving to others as well having that equal give and take or equal give and receive let's see we have this is your combined energy here for your intuition back to what you love reevaluate your desires wow so there might be somebody in your group or your energy but the number three here is about group and growth so maybe you've learned from something here as well let's have a look at your feelings how you're feeling right now wow passion ignited Woo <laughs> somebody has made you very passionate about something here or someone oh you've been persevering um i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to so that's so true whatever you decide to do ah oh, that went on the floor that means it's pretty important let's do your person's energy and then i will pause it and pick up your cards that went flying and we'll see what it has to say. We have awareness. So they may be aware of you or aware of spirits. 
they might be aware of some energy of envy and doubt here. So somebody's envious of them. I am the same as everybody else, but different challenges. And somebody might be envious of your energy or your person's energy. They're aware of this doubt i release the need to know all the answers so they're going with the flow here i feel and we'll look at your combined energy in a second okay we're back um yours was here prosperity begins wow okay <laughs> and we have partnership and alliances nice so whatever you got going on you're gonna have i feel like it might be a creative project maybe you're doing here that you're very passionate about and you persevere you you've kept going you didn't give up on it and now you're getting some money coming in from it or you will be and you may have partnered up with maybe your person maybe you're both doing something together and this is going to give you some freedom of maybe it's a home-based business or something here I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Wow. So that is that free will coming in. Spirit's giving you the free will to decide what you want to do. And most have a destination or a destiny, but you get the choice here on what your destiny might end up being. Let's see here. Service. So this, I feel good when I can help others. And this person may be liking to help people. Maybe you do as well. Or maybe this is what you both end up doing together here. I want one more for your person. So we have the same amount of, <laughs> look at that abundance. And yours had a, abundance too with prosperity begins here. So you, you're both going to be very abundant. Let's see what it says. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And this is something, these are all geometric shapes here, okay? And these are all the things that when we see that one card that comes up and it's about those geometric shapes, I think it's in this deck here. This is what it's talking about, is the circle, the triangle, the square, and how the flower, and it's all related, um, and it all means something, okay? So that's why we've got the triangles for the fire, the air, and um, then we've got the, the triangles with the line through it, and it all means things, different things. And when you have the star, um, I think it's the Star of David. Uh, that's with the two, the feminine and the masculine that come together. And that is kind of like um, balance or something like that. I can't remember all of the details. But it's very beautiful if you want to look up geometric shapes. It may tell you about how the triangle, the square, the circle... Um, all, even the oval, all are in our daily lives. If you, if you actually look around, you'll see those things in all the things we have in around us, right? Circles, squares, and those are all for a reason. They're all, they all mean something. So let's see what your combination energy is. Fulfillment of wishes, Sagittarius. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Number nine, fulfillment. Yes, the attainment. Fruition of whatever you're manifesting. You both may be very big on manifesting here. You may even both sit down, write in a journal about what you want to manifest together to make your dreams come true. That's so beautiful. Let's look at what your actions are coming up here. These could be... Then just keep remember, um, because this is for Sagittarius, it is still general. Um, not everything may resonate, but take what does. Flip it, switch it, whatever you need to do for it to resonate for you. If you sound more like on this side than you do this side, then take this side, right? But whatever it is, I'm kind of feeling like this is 
something you're needing to know about. What's your actions coming in here? This also could be past, present, or future, or near future, okay? We have the clock, perfect timing. So this is divine timing, I feel. Past, pro didn't I just say past, present, and future? <laughs> Stand the test of time, unstoppable, longevity, uh, incremental, wow, perfect timing, origins with the clock. This is 19, that ends up being a 10. So, wow, so perfect timing is coming in here for this union, I feel, to come together. What are your actions here? Oh, wow, soulmate card, twin flame is coming up, the one, wow, the pair of things, deep soul connection, blooming love, faith, divination, and fluid fluidity, wow, six, this is so beautiful, this is something that comes in as harmony and cooperating, wow, look at that, you got a couple more here, we have the rainbow wish granted which we know is going to happen wow being blessed patient pays off abundance hope good luck patience promise god sent creation manifesting all over again here i'm seeing wealth prosperity and perfect timing and it's not funny perfect timing came up twice it's cancer energy and number nine which is fulfillment we have the ladybug with number three, a vibrant, abundant life, happy, comfort, leisure, good health, balance, wishes are coming true, where it even could be a birth of a daughter. So perhaps somebody's pregnant here, Sagittarius. What's the actions of your person? Whoa, a storm brewing, <laughs> a tornado is coming. Something unexpected perhaps here something that's sudden unexpected um maybe this birth of the daughter this person maybe wasn't expecting that something of a breakdown or over and done with the end something torn up storm brewing i feel like it's more a sudden unexpected and it may not even be an ending it just may be unexpected or sudden Let's see, what else do we have for your person? Train, oh, moving on, ouch. Life's journey, new endeavor, going away, one direction, on track, focus, keep going forward, go with the flow, steady climb, no resistance. This is Libra, or no, this is Gemini, sorry, um, the twins. And I feel like when I see Gemini in a reading, sometimes it feels uh, twin flamish. So it could be soulmate, could be a twin flame here too. So maybe you have two people in your energy or this person is also a twin flame. This could be a real rare twin flame soulmate connection. And I kind of feel like it's like a divine union here. Wow, shooting star, wish granted, rare falling moment in time, luck. So you got a lot of luck. You have passion, enterprise, brilliant. We have Aries energy with number eight here, taking action towards something and resolving something possibly here. And we have clouds, thoughts, problems, doubts, hesitation, <laughs> misunderstandings. So with the king of clubs, I do believe the clubs is one. So the six of wands, I do believe that's a victory, recognition no doubts wow so something happens here this is all unexpected we have eight six eight six here we have one zero six nine three or ten six nine or ten six three or nine three you can play with the numbers only four digits go in for the angel numbers so Put it out as uh, many times you want in different, uh, you'll get different messages. Ooh, there's a solution to this problem. This is Ascended Masters coming in with 33. The Eight of Diamonds is the Eight of Pentacles, I do believe, which is mastering a skill here. 
This is dedication and commitment. This is solution, a key, intelligence, genius, insight, and clarity. This is unlocking something that maybe was locked, helpful, important, and to pay attention. There's another eight there. So we have <laughs> eight, eight, six, eight. Wow, a lot of eights and sixes there. That's beautiful. All right, Sagittarius, what are some of the outside forces you may be having? Whoa, 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 that's a lot, but I'm just gonna take the one that's on top. We have the thinker, 44, ascended masters are saying maybe you're overthinking something possibly. Maybe you need to get going or take more time for something here. Number three, it might have to do with the group, maybe growth or creativity by the book so this is another master number number 11 so you may be very by the book kind of person where you have a routine or structure of how you do things here and it's saying that you're thinking about this it's time to get moving on it and go by the book do it right follow the rules or follow your routine or maybe you have a routine i'm getting routine here what about your person here whoa don't throw it on the floor again mending so somebody might be healing right now they've gone through some type of change here from maybe seeing something that they needed to see about somebody wow this person's blessed with the 22, that's master number again. We have 11, no, we have 7, 22 here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so Spirit's going to help with this higher power here. Wow. <laughs> they see you as very poised. Wow, very confident, very, um, I feel like, maybe in the spotlight I'm getting with that there's some type of unfinished symphony here that maybe ended too soon somebody needs needs to be alone to go to the sea so maybe needs to go closer to water or be by some stream or some source of water to really contemplate on what they want to happen here about this unfinished symphony spirits trying to get their attention here oh exchanging gifts this person might come in and give you some gift here but that does not mean um that you need to accept it if you feel there's strings attached to this gift if they're expecting something in return for this gift the thing about giving is that you should be giving something without expecting anything in return to give is just to give. <laughs> it doesn't mean you have a hold over someone or that someone owes you anything because you gave. To give is unconditional. It doesn't mean anything other than thinking of that person and wanting to give them something, um, maybe to help them or whatever the case is. It's not about what you get back from that person because you gave them something. I know there's equal give and take, but that's a little different than uh, somebody giving you a gift and expecting something back. Now you owe them something. That's not how that works. All right, let's see here. Financial constraints. So this is a lesson you've learned here. This is about what lessons you may have learned along the way here. So you've learned about maybe a lack mindset in finances. Wow, there's a thinking man here. Maybe thinking about you. Happy family here. Wow, okay. <laughs> maybe getting some type of stability. Maybe somebody's helping you with your money here. Let's see here. Oh, what is your person? Healer of all ages. And they're, they have a light about them that is a healing light here. With the sun card, they're very happy. They're upbeat. They're optimistic. They're not pessimistic. They don't think half full. They think of, or half empty. They think half full. Okay, 
Let's see. Uh, there's some anxiety here about somebody maybe in their energy that is envious. And I think we saw that over here. I feel like somebody's jealous of you here. And the envy may be about how you look or what you're what you have. Maybe it's that you have the attention of this person and this person wants that person. It could be an ex or someone they thought they would end up getting with that they didn't. Whatever the case is, this envy has a two behind it. it usually means duality or a partnership. So somebody is envious about a partnership that you may be with this person. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck angel of balance so you may both have some sort of balance that you have between the two of you this person wants to give you this ring they want to put a ring on it and you've ended some type of karmic relationship and i feel like that's brought this new in for you oh we can do your true heart's desires here let's do that before we get spirit's advice what's your true heart's desires here soulmate wow <laughs> if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul yes and soul mate your soul mate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically so look at that so they already exist you just have to believe that they are man and manifest them physically they're already with you in spirit in soul and our soul i i feel like goes on it doesn't just die off i feel like our soul continues on like our loved ones Let's see, what's your, your soulmate think here? Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Wow, so being optimistic about things, about what can be. Let's see. Beware of what you're projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess, equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So you may see yourself, this looks like it might be a twin flame, divine union, I think I said before, because there's soulmate here, but I, I'm feeling twin flamish as well, which could be that divine union. You may see yourself in this person and you might feel like, wow, that's what I do. And you may not like what you're seeing in that person. And that may even prompt you to change or end how you behave certain ways. Um, you may see certain things in this person that you do like and the qualities that you do like in them. And you may see that in yourself as well as you see them in your person. This is about learning about um, being able to see patterns and being able to break those patterns if they're negative patterns, right? So, and it's also about having an ego breakdown. So you're not letting your ego kind of where... I find that with the ego breakdown, that's kind of like when you're fighting with somebody or arguing, I should say, when you're arguing with somebody and whatever the cause that you're arguing about, it becomes more of a win thing. And it and no matter what, you want to win at all cost. And now the cause that you were fighting for is out the window. And now it's all about being right. That's your ego happening there. And this is a breakdown of that. So when you have that ego breakdown, you realize that you don't need to argue with somebody to be right. And if somebody's arguing with you, you don't even need to spend your energy in that because it's not worth the argument, right? And that's about being the bigger person when it comes to something and realizing that you don't even need to put your energy into that. It's, that's a lower energy that you're not willing to put into, okay? 
So with that ego breakdown, there's also, you may have shared beliefs spiritually, okay? And I feel like you're, this, this is a really cool um, type of relationship because there's going to be, you're still going to feel really friend and easy, best friend, kind of soul family, deep, warm and safe and comfy. But you're also going to realize things about yourself between the two of you with your behavior. So let's see. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those loved ones. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you desire to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Isn't that funny that this is your true heart's desire? I love it when that card comes out because of this position it's in, which is the true heart's desire position. And let's find out what your spirit's advice is that they want to tell you. What does spirit want to give for advice for you? And then we'll do your person. Relationship harmony. Wow, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Nice. We have prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Uh, let's see what your person is. Sagittarius here. Divine order. Okay. Archangel Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. <laughs> so maybe seeing through something and seeing what it really is. Yeah, they're going to overcome any difficulties they're having right now. It's going to be in the past. The worst is over now and behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So you're already soaring because it says to spread your wings and soar. Don't hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Wow. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is. We'll just do this quickly because we're already at 30 minutes. We have family room. Okay, so nobody is home in the family right now. Maybe they're all gone somewhere. Maybe you're feeling alone. Oh, but you are on your path here. So let's see about your person here. Maybe your family isn't with you when it comes to this pathway. Wow, lovers. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this is that Gemini uh, attraction, harmony, and divine love. That's so awesome that came out because I believe I said that already. Thank you for the confirmation, spirit. Toil and labor and changing. Okay, so somebody might change what they do for work here. You may both get on the pathway to doing something together here. Wow, and both, uh, somebody's the gift here, or there is a gift, there's exchanging gifts. So that's cool because gift came back up again. Um, we have number three and eight for you. And oh, look at that main female. There's a gift here. You may be the gift, the feminine. We have number nine, we have 11, which is the master number, and number six here for your person. So, and number eight for the both of you. So you can look up those numbers and see if there's anything behind that as well. So let's look at the bottom of the deck real quick. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a shuffle here. So whatever was there. I'll make sure it's new. Yeah, you're not going to miss out on this opportunity here with the Four of Cups in reverse. That is regenerizing. Um, this is about positive change that's going on here. You're not going to miss out on this opportunity at all. Whatever's meant for you will come to you. Yeah, this cooperation, team player combination. You're going to work together on things. You're going to be a team together like you're meant to. You're both going to have your own lives, of course, but you're also going to do things together. This way, you're not losing self 
in all of this. You're still able to be who you are, do your things, go to work, do whatever you're doing. If you're doing things together for work, then you're working together as a team and you're not gonna miss out on an opportunity to get on your path. I feel like this is gonna be such a great connection for you. This is gonna be something you've never felt before. And once you get out of this karmic relationship and choose yourself and heal, which I feel like a lot of you may already have done, depending on where you are in this timeline here, I feel like whatever this soulmate twin flame union is for you, this divine union here, this is all going to happen suddenly for you. There may be some misunderstandings and confusion, but I feel like that all gets worked out. Your wishes come in for you, Sagittarius. This is so beautiful. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later.